can gold be created from other elements yes gold can be created from other elements but the process requires nuclear reactions and is so expensive that you currently cannot make money by selling the gold that you create from other elements all regular matter is made out of atoms all atoms are made out of a small nucleus containing protons and neutrons bound together and a large cloud of electrons bound to the nucleus since most of an atom's physical and chemical properties are determined by the numbers and shapes of its electrons and since the number and shapes of its electrons are determined by the number of protons in the nucleus the nature of an atom is largely determined by the number of protons in its nucleus all atoms with the same number of protons in their nucleus behave almost identically for this reason we call a group of atoms with the same number of protons a chemical element and we associate various properties with particular elements gold is a chemical element with 79 proton in each atomic nucleus every atom contains 79 protons is a gold atom and all gold atom behave the same chemically in principle we can therefore create gold by simply assembling 79 protons and enough neutrons to make the nucleus stable or even better we can remove one proton from mercury which is 80 or add one proton to platinum which is 70 which has 78 in order to make gold the process is simple in principle but hard to do in practice adding or removing proton from the nucleus are types of nuclear reactions as such, no series of chemical reaction can ever create gold. Chemical reaction change the number or in shape of electrons in an atom, but leave the nucleus of an atom unchanged. The initiant alchemist dream of creating gold by simple, simply reacting chemical is therefore impossible. You have to use nuclear reaction to create gold. The difficulty is that nuclear reaction required a lot of energy. The nucleus of a stable atom is very tightly bound together, so it is hard to get anything permanently into or out of the nucleus. To induce a nuclear reaction, we have to shoot high energy particle at a nucleus. We can get such particle either from radioactive decay, from nuclear reaction in a reactor from the acceleration of a slow particles, or, fa or from a mix of these techniques. For example, Sher Bainbridge and Anderson created gold in 1941 by shooting neutrons at mercury. The neutrons were generated by a series of nuclear reactions that were kick-started by the Harvard cyclotron particle accelerator. Usually gold is created from platinum which has one less proton than gold or from mercury which has one more proton than gold. Bombarding a platinum or mercury nucleus with neutron can knock off in neutron or aid one neutron when which through natural radioactive decay can lead to gold it should be obvious by the production process much of the gold created from other elements is radioactive radioactive gold is a hazard to humans and cannot be sold commercially furthermore when radioactive gold undergoes radioactive decay after a few days, it is no longer gold. Therefore, in order to create a non-radioactive gold that you can sell to a consumer, you can have number 1. Build a nuclear reactor to act as your source of neutron. Number 2. Place mercury in the reactor after a large amount of work, only a tiny portion of a gold is created. Number 3. Decontaminate the resulting gold. This is harder than it sounds because you can, can't separate out a non-radioactive gold from radioactive gold using purely chemical methods. It should be obvious from this process that it currently costs much more to create a non-radioactive gold than you could ever earn by selling the gold. Creating gold from other elements is currently an expensive laboratory experiment and not a viable commercial activity. Perhaps technology will improve enough in the future to make a creation of gold in nuclear reactors a profitable economic enterprise.